Hey friends, Chris here, and today I wanted to talk about the concept of rest. This is a topic that I've heard people preach about, and I always said, you know, that's just crazy. I have so much to do, two kids, laundry, food shopping, long to-do lists, all sorts of assignments, deadlines. But if we're not careful, that stuff can get all-consuming, and it gets in the way of what's really ultimately more important, and that's the heavenly kingdom. But if we think about like Psalm 23, it says, I will make you lie down in green pastures. Now that key word there, make, it's a verb, it's a doing. We have to choose to intentionally take some time out to spend alone with God. If you think about the book of Matthew in chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, this is Jesus speaking. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So what I've been finding out here on this caravan mission is there are times when I feel guilty about taking a little bit of a rest, taking a break, but when I consciously invite Jesus into those spaces, he speaks to me in a way that is not possible when I'm burdened with all sorts of other tasks and to-do lists. So for example, if you're taking a walk on the beach, intentionally invite Jesus into that moment. Say, Lord, this is so beautiful. This is your creation. Is there anything you want to say to me? I'm your humble servant and I'm listening. And God will talk to you right then and there. Invite God into those spaces. He won't disappoint you. He wants you to rest. It's not something that we're meant to do once in a while, but something we're called to do on a daily basis. I know the to-do lists get long. Believe me, I've been there. But there's nothing more important than you can do today than spending time alone with your Creator.